Alright, so starting today, I'm making a few changes to my channel to more modernize it, I guess. Or make it more mature. Yeah, uh, enjoy that. And for those of you that are like, no, don't do that, it's gonna destroy it. Nope, tough luck, I'm doing it. So, suck it. Roll that intro. <laughs> Alright, so here we are in the Leopard Prototype, or the Leopard PTA, whatever you want to call it, it's the same thing. But, yes, this is not quite a review, even though I will be going over some of the tank features. It's pretty much the need to know of the tank. Uh, most importantly about this, before you, we talk about the gun, or the armor, or the speed, is how sensitive this thing's ammo racks are. You can shoot this tank almost anywhere and damage the ammo rack. As you can see here, I do have the uh, wet ammo rack, which gives me plus 50% durability. Now that does not mean jack squat with this tank, I still get my ammo rack damaged on a very regular basis, which means that I use up my consumables very often. I am spending 3,800 credits instead of just a measly 2,375. I'm sorry, you may be able to hear my little sister in the background. She's going off about some game or whatever. Now, let's look at something really good. The gun. Oh my god, this gun is awesome. The 105mm, I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, 105mm L7A1. This gun. Oh my god, I love this gun. I previously had the 9cm, oh god, German, board cannon. Yeah, let's go with board cannon, which is the gun you get on the Indian Panzer at tier 8. It's a very good gun, and I would quite often do between 1,000, 1,600 damage with this gun. But, whoo, I, I saw the episode, uh, or the tank review that Jingles did. But, you know, for this tank, and it was a while ago, and I was really discouraged when I had to, when I saw I had to unlock this gun before I could get to the Leopard 1. But, oh my god, this gun is amazing. It doesn't quite have the same uh, rate of fire as the board Canone. It is 3.11 uh, less rounds a minute. So that comes to just over a second, a seven second reload. However, the armor penetration is better in every aspect because your standard ammunition is APCR, premium would be uh, heat, and then just normal high explosive, which high, normal high explosive is weak. I recommend not even using it. The only reason I have it is to prevent things like capping. Um... It has 350 average damage, the high explosive is not much better, only at 400, and the heat is the exact same as the APCR. It has a 0.32 meter dispersion at 100 meters, of course, which is not bad at all. It's not terribly great, but it's not terribly bad either. It has a 2.3 second aiming time, which is awesome awesome. It's just what this tank needs to get over a hill and then take a shot and then go back, and I'm going much more into detail than I was originally anticipating. So that's the gun. Uh, let's look at the armor. <laughs> well, more like what armor? This thing has less armor than, or roughly the same armor, as many tier 4s. So tier 9 don't expect to bounce a lot of shots unless they are at extreme angles. So, yes, this tank is quite fast with a top speed of, where is it, 65 kilometers an hour, which is very good. So, you do not want to stop this thing unless you are unspotted and camping in a bush. Do not stop. If you are spotted, get out of there, find a different way, get unspotted. Pretty much all the basic necessities of playing the game take to the extreme with this, otherwise you will get your ammo rack damaged, and you will most likely die. So, <laughs> with that little bit of a menacing note, let's get into a game and actually see how this thing performs. 
Aw, how nice. The matchmaker decided to be my friend. Top tier on Winter Malinovka on Supremacy. I actually really like this game mode, and it seems like I've been getting it more and more. It's a nice break from uh, just normal encounter. My only problem with it is it could get tiring soon, and it's for those like long and drawn out game mode like games. Alright, so here we are, up to go to the A point. This game, or this tank, may not seem like it has very much acceleration, but if you can tell in the bottom corner, which I don't like where they move the speed indicator, we got up to 51 there pretty easily. Often in, when I'm in this tank, I will notice that I'm going, like I won't think I'm going anything more than 30 kilometers, but I'll be going like, 50, which can cause a lot of problems when I try to crest a hill. I'm not going to bother about capping with them, because they have it. Enemy team has not... Oh, never mind, they've started capping B, which means I will go around and try to flank. Alright. Doesn't seem to be anything over here. They're also capping C, which means that most of the team is probably going to be over there. I'm in a safe position to take some shots. I miss, of course. But with a 7.6 second reload time... Yeah... Just barely too slow. But I'm gonna get over here. Using my speed and maneuverability. Almost 400 damage there. Crap. I'm sorry, dude. Got in your way. But... I bounce. I don't know how I bounce. I hit him in the track. Now he is certainly dead. Goodbye, T-54. This tank also seems... I don't know how much... How heavy it is exactly. But it seems like quite the weighty tank. Good shot on... Hey, I pulled the trigger game. I've been having that bug a little bit lately, where I go to pull the trigger, and it doesn't actually shoot. Damage the IS-6 in the track. He kills our T-59. I believe that was him. And I didn't do at any actual damage to him. So this is going to... Ooh, four against three. I have no idea where my friendlies are. Come on, guys. Get up here. SOS. I can't fight them alone. No. This is not working. See? Right there. Amorak damaged. I'm not going to bother to try and repair it because... Eh, screw it. Oh, come on! Uh, good thing it wasn't too bad. I actually bounce a shot there, and then take ramming damage, because I didn't think he was turning, and that's the end of the game for me. Wow, I really should pre-record these, and they win by a thousand points. I really should pre-record these, and then go in and overlay commentary instead of trying to comment while I'm doing this. So that was a bad game for me, I still did 1,445 damage. The main problem for me with the tier 9s is the ammunition is just so darn expensive that I often lose money. When I had the tier 8 gun, I would make money on pretty much every game. It's not the tank itself that's super expensive, it's the amount of ammunition that I dump into the enemy tanks. So, again, just ignoring that battle, let's go into another one. So, this match I tried to make pre-recorded, and Matchmaker just decided, nope, not your friend anymore. So, I'm very bottom tier. Uh, yeah. And there's a Death Star on the enemy team. Yeah, he, he's gonna show a bit of importance. This replay is only about a minute and 30 seconds long, including the... Uh, title screen where it shows all the tanks. So of course I 
log, or not log in, but load up in the Leopard and head for the A cap, which I do regularly and it usually pays off. Well, this game isn't usually, because I pull up here and yeah, just, just watch what, get, what, yeah, watch what happens. So, hiding behind the bush, capturing the A point. Just going to give that a little bit to capture. I think it's only 15 to 30 seconds, somewhere between there, to capture it. And I notice they're trying to cap the B point. So I pull up just out of the bush, and boom! There goes all of my health. Death Star hit me right in the face. High explosive round. Not quite enough to kill me. And then, boom, I take another hit. I'm down to barely anything. And I'm just cowering until... He has the mercy to finish me off. And that is the end of that game. I quit to the garage, and that was it. And I have had no good games since. So, with that being said, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and peace out. Yes, that was me rage quitting at the end.